We are on the phone right now with Johnny from Nothing More. How are you, man? Doing uh, awesome, man. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a bit tired, as are the rest of the guys, but we're really excited. We've been busting our uh, asses this whole month getting ready for this tour, and, and today's the first show. We're in Corpus Christi getting all our gear prepped and ready to go. Um, can't wait to get over uh, to everywhere in the United States, especially uh, Lafayette. Absolutely, man. We're looking forward to uh, to the show on Sunday. But I'm just going to dive right into this. The new record uh, is fantastic. I've listened to it, I can't tell you how many times, just through and through. But I found you guys have a kind of a, a progressive rock uh, musically, and, and you sing about some pretty heavy topics. Um, you know, you're not singing about just getting drunk on a Saturday night or something. Um, but you still somehow find a way to keep it mass appealing. Is that a, a conscious effort, or did it just kind of happen that way? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think it's a little bit of both, uh, only in the sense that um, some of it happened naturally because uh, I think just the music that you listen to growing up and uh, just day to day really influences how you write your own music and how you hear things. So some of it probably came naturally because we all listen to such a wide variety of music spanning from really, really heavy uh you know, rock to metal to progressive, all the way on the other side from, you know, alternative to hip hop to, uh, you know, even some indie stuff occasionally. And so I think when you listen to all these different styles, uh, it ends up centering your music a little bit more in a way that may appeal to other people since you listen to music that other people might listen to outside of your genre. Um, But you know, also working with some great minds on this record, like our good friend Paco Estrada, who was in a band called South FM back in the day. Um, we called him up and decided to get into a writing room before we recorded one note of this record. We just sat for like a few months and talked about life and the experiences we'd been through. And we started putting it on paper, and he was a big help, I think, in bouncing a lot of ideas off of and also helping us word things in a way that you know, got the message across and told the story properly. So it, it, it's a combination of things. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys did a fantastic job uh, on that. Um, let's talk about the the live show that uh, that is, that nothing more puts on. Um, I mean, I've heard a whole lot about it. I don't know if you, you remember uh, the band Merriweather. I know y'all played with them before um, years ago, probably. Yeah. But uh, oh yeah. Uh, a friend of mine was in that band, and he was just telling me, you know, when I told him you guys were coming, just about y'all's live show and, and how great it was. Is there, I guess, without giving away the secret, so to speak, is there anything you can tell us about the live show that just makes it special? Uh, absolutely. Um, be- and before I even say that, I just want to say on the record that we m- missed the hell out of Merriweather. That was a band that we used to look up to and play a lot of shows with and you know, I, I jam their record all the time, but just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> right on. Uh, but in, in regards to the show, I think uh, without giving anything away, um, we just do things that may not necessarily uh, be classified as rock or progressive uh, or whatever, or, or metal or whatever you want to call our style of uh, rock. Um, it, so it, it's stuff that could be fit into a stomp Flash Blue Man Group, um, kind of a show, but without being all Las Vegas and you know, with feathers and, and <laughs> you know, it's it, it's just elements where we all bust out on drums and do certain sections, or um, we have these pieces of uh, structures, I guess you could call them, on stage that are made out of metal that our bass player Daniel. Um, he picked up a welder one day and just started building all these things because I told him I wanted to be able to stand on my drums. And so he built this big, crazy uh, casing out of like old motorcycle parts <laughs> and tractor parts and just scrap metal. And so when he built that, like it started forming uh, this foundation upon which we started creating all these other show ideas, uh, one of which where we do this, this thing without giving too much away, we have a bass guitar uh, attached to the stand and, and we all end up doing a bunch of stuff uh, on that bass guitar simultaneously to create kind of a, a wall of sound that you, you know, doesn't typically come out of a, a bass guitar or that instrument. So 
we just try to do things a little bit differently when we can uh, in between some of the sections of our of our set. Very cool, man. I'm looking forward to that for sure. I've heard a lot about that. I have uh, purposefully not looked at any videos of it because I'm I'm, I'm waiting to see it live. Oh, good. Um, what, you're one of those. You're one of those people that when someone says I have a surprise for you and they say, do you want to know? You're the guy that says, no, don't tell me. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And continuing with uh, the live show talk, do you have a, like a favorite song to play live? Man, uh, I'd say Salem is probably collectively our favorite song to play live just because it's the most energetic one and we get to all get on drums at some point in the middle of that song and just beat the crap out of them, which is always a great feeling. And I think I think that song too. We can be um, we don't have to be like quite as technically precise as a lot of the other songs where we have to, you know, almost be in the right mindset and be on top of our game to perform properly. Where that song, we can just kind of, you know, it's back to the old dirty, sloppy rock and roll. We can just go and. Just, you know, it's more about the energy. Yeah, it's kind of let loose. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, we, look, we're looking forward to the show on uh, on Sunday at the District. Uh, thank you guys uh, for, for doing that show, and thank you for calling in, Johnny, and we can't wait to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Look forward to it.